At Coastal Cancer Center in Myrtle Beach, Doxol, a drug for treating ovarian and other types of cancer, is in short supply, as it is all over the country. Oncologists say so far they've been able to use substitutes for most of the drugs in shortage, but for some types of cancers, that's hard to do. Specifically in breast cancer, there's a branded drug that we use called Herceptin. Now, fortunately, there's no shortage to that because that's a branded drug, but let's say we had a shortage of that, then we'd be stuck. There is no substitute for that drug. Dr. Podell says the shortages tend to affect generics more than branded drugs because generics don't make as much money for drug manufacturers. The shortages have led to a gray market for certain drugs with distributors hiking prices sky high. We are fortunate in this area that we have not heard about any of our local hospitals or pharmacies gray marketing, but I would not be surprised at all if it's happening throughout the country. The owner of Lee's Inlet Apothecary says shortages of some drugs are mostly an inconvenience for his customers who don't really understand them. Even though the patient believes you, they're just frustrated and uh, they won't. You know, they, they just want results. They don't really care about the story involved. Willie Lee says he works with a compounding pharmacy that mixes its own medications, and he has different suppliers than big pharmacies, both of which help him deal with shortages. He's not convinced that the problem is due to drug companies not making enough money from generics. There's always exceptions, but I believe the drug companies are making plenty while it's under patent. <laughs>